Good morning and welcome back. I'm Peter Call from Neutronics and it's been quite a while since we gave you a YouTube video update. Uh, it's now June 2009 and Neutronics has released the Mini ID 134A for automotive use on 134A systems. Uh, this product will detect the purity of 134A in a vehicle's AC system and it will give you a pass light if we get to 95% or better and a fail light if it's something else or if it's less than 95% pure. This product was originally introduced about a year and a half ago uh, under a private label. Uh, Neutronics has now released uh, the OEM version which is uh, manufactured by us. has some great features for you. First of all, uh, one, lightweight and small as you can see. 12 volt powered. There's a small power connector here on the bottom side. I don't know if you can see that. And the unit comes supplied with 12 volt battery clips. The 12 volt battery clips plug right into the bottom, connect to the vehicle's battery, and give you all the power that you need to power the unit. The unit also has a bulb for calibration. You squeeze the bulb three times prior to testing uh, when the little light tells you to and it's going to calibrate the unit for you with some fresh air to make sure there's no residual 134A left over from the last test. Another great feature of this unit is the coupler. Neutronics has designed a special new coupler filter. This little brass piece right here. This little brass piece, uh, here's one not in a coupler. There we go. See it there? Has a uh, restrictor inside, about 1500 micro holes designed to trap oil uh, and sealant so that you don't get oil up into your refrigerant identifier. Anyone who's used an identifier in the past knows that if you have a vehicle system that has an overcharge of oil and that vehicle system's low side is pushing out oh, 70 PSI or so, that that oil will travel right up the hose, gets into the, the filter, the regulator, etc. of the identifier and um, can be uh, quite problematic to fix. We've addressed that with this little fitting, replaceable. Um, it uh, knocks pressure down from about 70 PSI down to oh, roughly, I don't know, 7, 10 PSI, something like that, and slows any migration of oil. And the oil then goes up into this clear tube. Uh, the clear tube is uh, pretty generic, uh, comes as part of this assembly, but it's not like the, uh, the big identifiers that have uh, the expensive uh, replacement hoses. Um, this is a, a very inexpensive part to replace and should keep your identifier working great. We're actually working on a version of this for the, the bigger, older style identifiers and even some of our newer stuff. Uh, haven't quite released that yet. It's in testing. Uh, to use this mini ID, it's pretty simple. Let's get it in frame. All we're going to do is we're going to connect the power to uh, the vehicle's battery. Then we're going to uh, have the warm-up light will flash. We'll press next and the warm-up light will turn solid. That means it's warming up. After it's done warming up, the calibrating light will flash. When the calibrating light flashes, we're going to pump this little bulb three times. One, two, three. And then we're going to push next and the calibrating light will turn solid and that means it's actually calibrating. When that's all done, the analyzing light will flash. When the analyzing light flashes, we're going to connect our coupler to the vehicle and push next and then the analyzing light will turn solid and when it's all done it'll give you a display of pass or fail in the event that something goes wrong we'll give you a fault light here or if uh, we're not getting a good sample meaning this this filter is clogged with oil uh, or sealant or something like that or you never connected the coupler to the vehicle that's always possible you'll get an excess air light and then when you go take a look in the manual you'll see that excess air means we didn't get a good sample and we give you some things to check um, to make sure that you're up and running great this product is uh, available from a bunch of sources including uh, Richie Engineering an OEM partner of ours so we're pleased to have Richie with us uh, offering our products um, if you have any questions you can reach us at 800-378 2287. Our tech people, our sales people, etc. will be happy to help you with any questions you might have. Um, this is Peter Call for Neutronics. Uh, hoping you have a great day and uh, hoping we'll be back a little sooner than we were this time uh, with some more updates, some tips and tricks, and some uh, great new products coming in the future. Thanks and have a great day.